What's up everybody and welcome here for another torture for the episode. Like I said, been doing a lot of torture recently. Be getting ready for SSR qualifying, which is today. So that video will be coming out as well. So today we're gonna do something that I've done on Forza Motorsport 7, Forza Horizon 3. I believe I did one on um, Horizon 4, but we're gonna be doing a budget build. And a lot of you guys have been asked for a budget build here on Torque Drift. So we have $249,000 and uh, 153 gold bullion. We have two sponsorship crates too that we're also gonna use. Gonna cheat the system a little bit, maybe get some extra parts. So we're going to be doing a $250,000 build with the cost of a car. So we're doing a budget build on 250 grand in the game. Of course, we're gonna be using the, you know, 153 uh, bullion to uh, overnight our parts real quick, instant buys if we can. So, like I said, we're going to be doing a budget build today. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. So the first thing we have to do is we have to buy a car. And uh, I have never done a GT86 build, so we are going to buy the GT86. It is 48, which is going to leave us about 200 grand to do in mods. So we're going to instant buy this. Hello, we don't have to wait for it. So now we have 200 grand to spend. So we are going to be working with 306 horsepower to start off so now we're going to open our two sponsorship crates because we're going to cheat the system and maybe get some parts with this before we actually crack into our money and we're going to get some parts we're going to get an intercooler and we're going to get a stroked sr20 so that's a pretty good pull to start off this budget build because well everybody can have crates so what do we got we got another aftermarket part we got an aftermarket turbo and we got some tires so we're starting off pretty strong with some upgraded parts so we're gonna upgrade our engine and we're gonna throw on our turbo and then we are going to throw on the intercooler as well so pretty good cool parts to pull from the beginning to start this build because well now we got some uh we got some parts on there to start with so we're going to buy some more parts see what we can buy and see what we can do we definitely need to get angle kits and stuff like that but we're going to go see what parts we can upgrade further rather than instant buying the aftermarket parts we may instant buy the other ones so we're going to start buying some parts here so looks like we do have aftermarket or import suspension and an import um angle kit so we're going to definitely not instant buy those then we have inst ECU and stuff like that. So we're gonna buy our suspension and our angle kit, but we're not gonna instant buy those. Although that one instant buy it. Cause we're gonna actually go get our suspension. We're gonna instant buy that. And we need our angle kit. So we're gonna instant buy that as well. That's gonna take away most of our instant buy credit, but we needed those definitely for uh, handling of the car. So now we can go into everything else. We're going to want to buy a diff, and of course we're going to instant buy that, we're going to buy the clutch, and we haven't even cracked into our 200,000 yet, but unfortunately we can't actually instant buy everything, so we can't do a full 200 cost build on this because, well, I don't have the uh, torque box to instant buy everything, so now we are looking at some other parts. I feel like we should probably do an ECU. This one goes there. We're going to go with the Lynx. Maybe we'll be able to instant buy that. We can. We can instantly buy that and install that. And then we only really have the intake, which we can also instant buy. So we actually only spent a little bit of our 200 grand. And we already have a decent amount of parts on there. We can't really go much further right now. So this build is going to keep going. But we have $130,000 to spend on it. So this is going to be episode one of this build. So we have $130,000 left to spend on this build. And we're, uh, we're, pretty, uh, we're pretty well up there. So we can get a body kit. Oh, I think we're going to stay away from body kits for now. But we need to look at different wheels. So we're going to take a look. Oh, I don't know why those wheels are red. I think I'm going to want to go with some import wheels, but we're not going to be able to instant buy them. So we definitely need to look at at least getting some 18s on this car. I'm not sure how I feel about really any of these wheels. 
Not liking any of them. Okay, we'll do those. But we're going to have to wait six minutes for those, unfortunately. But we can start messing with tuning. So since we have all the parts in there, we have 491 horsepower. So like I said, this is going to basically be, you know, episode one of this because we're going to want to continue this build. So we are going to leave the stiffness in the front at 12. And then we're going to go into our angle kit. We're going to bump that up to as much angle lock as we can. I'm going to throw as much camber in there. We're going to dial that back and we're going to bump the caster up in the front and then we did not buy anything like that now we are going to run some falcon tires on here and we're going to change the tire pressure in the falcons we're going to leave them at 22 in the front and we need to work on ecu tuning we're going to rev up put everything up max on there just to get the most out of that we're going to go into our turbo and we're going to peak as much turbo boost as we can on this car so we need to go to the rear and adjust our camber. We're gonna run about one, negative one degree. We leave that at 164th. And then we need to look at our suspension. And I feel like we wanna soften that a little bit to nine. And then we need to work. Um, we're gonna leave our final drive there cause I'm not sure how this car drives yet. So we are waiting on those wheels. So. We need to switch the rear tires to Falcons. We're gonna run the Falcon tires in the rear. And we are going to drop those down to about 13. We'll leave that how it sits. So we're gonna run this car how it sits right now. It's just pretty low. If you like how it sits, we're gonna wait for those wheels, but we're gonna run it how it sits. We still have 128,000 to spend on this car. So we're gonna continue building this car up for this budget build. So we will go into body kits. We're gonna buy the body kit. We do have to wait for it, but we already bought it. So we're down to 99,000 now. So I will continue to buy some stuff for this car right now and just have it sitting there so that when we come back to it, we'll have those parts installed. And I'm not sure, can't really do much else with that. We can buy and then take and go higher. We can do some other alloys that we can have delivered to us. I think we're gonna go with those. I do like those. Although I like those wheels. So we're gonna buy these wheels as well. Can't instant buy them yet, like I said, because we don't have it, but we're going to be using that money. We're gonna be using the parts. So we're down to 87,000 on this build. So what other, should we buy another engine for this car? We could buy a 2J and throw a 2J in this. I'm feeling the 2J, so we're gonna buy the 2J, which puts us down to $61,000 left for this car. And well, that's what we spent on it, but this is how it sits right now. So we're gonna go take this thing sideways and have some fun with it because well, we came here to drift it and we gotta see how it slides. We have Cone Hill Climb. We're gonna run the long line. So budget build episode one here with the GT86. We have more parts coming for it and we still have some money to burn. We still got about 51,000 or so to burn for this car. So we're gonna buy some other parts for it and continue this build and continue this basically budget series for $200,000 and see what we can do with this. And that is, this is gonna be an interesting battle. Not sure how this car is gonna handle or really what gear I'm gonna be needing. like it's third oh oh it is definitely a boat compared to uh, my other cars so we need to get used to how the lower power car goes there we go I just need to really uh, um I don't know what happened there torque shift kind of just froze on me and uh, didn't freeze but uh, I hit I don't know what so that was kind of a fail when it comes to that run. So we're gonna try and do that one again. So the budget build is gonna continue. The car may not be perfect at the moment because well, we just built it and the tunes 
are probably not there yet because we need more power and a little bit more stuff. So if you guys want to keep seeing this budget build, make sure you guys follow this episode and continue to watch the channel. I do appreciate all the support. So we can initiate sooner. There we go. That's a little bit better now. So the car likes to skate out very far. It's very loose. And it does not have much grip. Which is surprising because of the tires we're on. But could also be the suspension and the gearing. So for a low powered build at the moment, it's not that great. We're going to have to continue to build this car up. We have the, all the parts coming. So we will be able to build this car even higher. I'm wondering if maybe I need to go into fourth gear. But it's definitely... Definitely far from a super competitive car. We can throw it in fourth gear though. Ooh, now we're getting tandems. Now we're grabbing doors with our beginning budget build car of the GT86. That guy's gonna go wide. And we're gonna go right into him. So fourth gear was obviously the money gear that we need to run. So like I said, you guys want to keep seeing this budget build and continue the build on the GT86. Make sure you follow the channel and tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate the support. Yeah, we did lose, unfortunately. But if we rematch, maybe he'll want to go again and we will get a better lead. No, nope, he will not. So we're going to try one more time here and go from that. And I will update the car with the parts and the tune and continue this build. And I feel like I'm a little bit... uh outclassed by this car we're gonna kick in the fourth we're going against the Supra I'm not sure at all how this is gonna work but we're gonna try our best Let's get in there there we go feather throttle much better run in fourth gear should have handbraked sooner or clutch kicked to get more angle way better run than last time at least we're getting the scores now and I'm learning how to drive the lower powered car 62 to the man's 51 in that Supra so we do have a chance to take the win here to end this episode off like I said we're going to continue this budget bill on this GT86 got a nice uh, body kit on the way 2JZ on the way and this car will start ripping and getting more and more sideways as the episode continue we just got to stay in chase with him a little bit far off in the beginning but we are slowly bringing in his door the GTA 6 I feel like is going to be a very good car once I get all the parts in it and spend a little more money on it because we got about 50 grand to spend on it so I will remember that we have 50 grand to spend on this car and we did take the win so like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all which are found in the description box below. As always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track, either in the GT86 or another car. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys next time.